I was born in Eastern Europe during the communist regime and my grandfather was a blacksmith. He told me about a story when he was working with hot metal. A piece of metal actually landed on his skin, on his inner wrist. The doctors never removed it. It just stayed there and it became part of his body. You can always feel the metal under his skin. So you can say there is metal in my veins. There is an interesting correlation with, with everything we see, with food, with wine, with jewelry. So I like to challenge that and see how, how the shapes change. You can create anything you want. This is one of the pieces that I made. It's something that has straight structural style to it. I have this piece, really organic. It has lines that are very soft. They're very irregular. We have social media, we have technology, we have things that are expanding our view. And I think of my jewelry also as a transmitter of emotions, as a device to communicate with people. That's why I like being a designer, I like being an artist and having that ability to communicate. I like to create pieces for anyone who has um, desire to wear something beautiful as an extension of, of their mood, of their inner self, anything that would help them reveal more about who they are and how they move in society. I want women to feel empowered in a way where they can, they can wear something that it's uh, out of their element, a little bit more brave and, and edgy and without being apologetic about it.